For the last 35 years, MSU has been home to the Muscular Dystrophy Association Clinic. And joining us this morning is Dr. Cabello Tucson, who's a pediatric neurologist with the MSU Health Team. And it's so important to have you here because for the first time ever, you are actually bringing a pediatric unit to the Muscular Dystrophy Association Clinic. So welcome to the blend. Thank you, it's a pleasure to be here. And, and this clinic is needed for pediatric care, correct? Yes. Tell us a little bit about it. So this clinic is in different centers. Uh, in our community, the closest being Detroit and Grand Rapids. Uh, so we saw a need to start the, uh, the service for our patients here. And the patients who are sitting in this clinic, usually they require a transportation they require wheelchair, so we think uh, it will be honorable to do this service. Dr. Tucson, what are typical types of pediatric diseases you see at the MDA clinic? Uh, we see from genetic disorders, uh, congenital dystrophies, including uh, the commonest one, Duchenne muscular dystrophy. Uh, we also see uh, autoimmune disorder like myasthenia gravis in kids. Uh, and other rare but debilitating disorders like limb girdle muscular dystrophies and congenital myopathies. And there have been some updates in Duchenne muscular dystrophy research. Um, I'm hoping that you can guide some light on that. Tell us, tell us about the updates. Yeah, there has been uh, interesting research. Uh, there are new therapies like exon skipping therapy. Uh, in 2016, the FDA actually uh, approved the drug for the first time that is uh, in the new forms of therapy where the exon skipping. Uh, currently also research into using vectors to transport the uh, Duchenne gene into the patients. And are there opportunities for patients to participate in clinical trials? Uh, yeah, patient participating in clinical trials uh, and seeing what's new out there so that we can help if, it, if it's not the current uh, patients to help the future patients. And for the first time, you're really, you're here to work on the smaller children, correct? Yes. Which is, which is great. So yeah. how do people see you? We've got more information. So the, we have phone numbers they can call, usually referral from... Uh, there they are on the screen, actually. 353-8122, healthteam.msu.edu. Doctor, thank you for what you do. Thank you. Thank you.